salutations. Welcome to my own brother. Isn't that from my? Isn't that from Ghost Brothers? No, it's that guy across when I was living in the van. He said that. Everyone That's that from a up, movie. You no, know, the Quakers. He said, "Greetings, salutations." He goes, "Greetings, salutations." <laughs> For real? Yes. I never heard him say that. I told you that. He said, you, "Oh, you heard him say to other people who are coming yeah. to the meetings when you're living in the van. You yeah. heard it." That's from a movie. I it swear. probably sounds like something to you from a movie. Greetings, <laughs> salutations, welcome to my own brothers. <laughs> With an S, it's plural. This is a new podcast. <laughs> it is not my own brother because we do not have a special guest. It's my own brother but without a special guest. And we're also on a classy couch. Cause we oh, yeah. Chef had said, let's make it look classy. And I know what he was doing. And turned around, he put a blanket on top of the couch. Nice. She's still prepared. garbage podcast, still garbage audio. You would, you, I don't even explain to you how we're recording the audio. I think it sounds good. It might sound good, but it, it hopefully it lines up. It was a light in my eyes, and it's so hard. Because <laughs> it was yellow looking in here, and it was really dark, Why did you put, and it looked like crap. Where's that, like, uh, you know. What, money? Where's, <laughs> where's the money, money that's in this money? podcast? Where's there the, the diffusion? Oh, the softbox? Yeah. It's, it's not set up. I need to, like, set and everything oh, up. That umbrella thing. Oh, God, it's awful. Ah, oh, dang it. Well, what Fine. Okay, you, maybe put some of my fabric over it. That'll melt. Don't walk around too much. You're going to pull your thing. I'm holding it. It's got a really... Oh, you're in the attic, I think. I got one right here. It's a real long cord I got on my mic. There you go. Production value. Do you have a mount for that? Look at that production value. Oh, it's so much better. It's probably blocking all the light that you established. Probably. The Let's bare see. bulb. It's probably in the lens, actually, too. It looks like it's in front of the camera. No, not anymore. Frank, this dog is not always going to be here, so don't get used to him. I think it looks fine still. Frank is a special guest. He's replaced Paul. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do you guys <laughs> like Frankie guest. more than Paul? Or do you like Paul, or Paul more than Frankie? So this is a podcast that has... No idea what it is going to be. My own brother had no idea what it was going to be. My own brother was basically talking about Shepard's weird things he does. The, the subtitle for this <laughs> But this movie, is more our show. two weird brothers talking about the weird things they do. I, did, I read something to Bob and George just the other day. The subtitle for the show could be just talking. Just talking. Because that's basically all we're going to do. And people apparently like to regularly listen to people talk. People are obsessed with you. Shepard doesn't see any of the comments. I see every comment on every video. But I like when I'm probably like, making my mics on crap. And I try to I tell him. I listen to like, you know, radio shows and stuff during the day. And I like the familiarity. Like, oh, I can listen to that guy when I'm out walking the dog. Yeah, and I think four people find that in this, too. So those yeah, four that's people. That's what I mean. So <laughs> four people. <laughs> what were you saying about George? I was telling them something I did. And I was like, oh, I guess that's weird. Because both of them were like, what the heck? And then that's what made me think, oh, I'm becoming Chefid. Remember recently, oh, I started to be... everything you do, you do that I did four or five years ago. Chefid does, funny me for. Chefid does a lot of weird things that are like kind of sad sometimes and depressing or just strange. And then about four years later, I end up doing them and I say, oh, that's such a good idea. And he goes, I've been doing that forever. Like, okay. saving my urine. I still don't, I don't save don't my save urine. Save like my you. urine. You save your urine. Why do you have a jug every, every couple of weeks... You'll walk through the house with a why, jug full of urine. Why does it mean that I'm saving it because I pee? In if the it's jug? not flushed instantly, it's being saved. If you have it for five minutes, one minute in a jug, it. it's saved. I have. Why a do jug you not pee? Like every intelligent human being should have in my bedroom, and I pee in it early hours of the morning because and nobody wants to get out of their bed and walk all the way into the you bathroom. You still have to get out of your bed. You just roll no, to your side in ways in a jug. I just roll to the side. That is more effort than getting out of bed, in but, my opinion. How far I, is the bathroom from your room? It doesn't Speak matter. Like, you can tell them, <laughs> tell them how not, far at, your bedroom uh, is from the toilet. At 4 a.m.? It's because it's a mile. <laughs> That's how far. So, when you... No. Okay. Uh, so, so, uh, an update. An update. probably nine feet from the toilet to his bed. No, from his feet, it's, it's probably... probably 15 feet. And 15 feet, like I said, at four in the morning, 15 feet is good as a mile. And how many times have you spilled that urine or dribbled some on your bed? <laughs> uh, you won't even once, answer. Once, how many times? Once, once. once. not worth it. That one time happened once, 
And I went to bed like this because it was here. So I was just like, it'll dry by the time I roll onto it. <laughs> <laughs> You're breathing on it will blow on it and dry the wet urine. It was where my wiener was, so it didn't matter because... Can I say that, wiener? You can say wiener. I don't think that's bad. It's where my private area was, which <laughs> contained the urine anyway. So if I laid on it, it doesn't really matter. You got but that trick from Jared Pete. This fabled person that no one ever... Uh, if you're listening to this for the first time, we've always often mentioned our, mentioned our friend Jared Pete. Shepard's always mentioned Jared. Jared we've got to have him on source, as a special guest. A source of amazing ideas. And Jared things. Pete is a person that Shepard says breakthroughs. has... Theoretical breakthroughs. Theoretical breakthroughs. <laughs> Shepard says he has uh, really good ideas. Yet, Jared Pete is the same person who one time in our apartment came in the house and he was like... He's swatting like he smelled something weird. Or there's flies in his face, and he goes, oh, too much Wi-Fi in here. Yeah, he goes, there's so he much Wi-Fi here now. He <laughs> felt the Wi-Fi when he walked no, in. No, no, he didn't come no, no. We were sitting on the just... couch, and Ethan had, like, his laptop or his new iPhone out or whatever. And he's like, oh, I can get on the internet or whatever. And Jared's like, get, get that phone out of here. There's too much Wi-Fi. <laughs> he did it often. Because you were holding the phone near him. He can sense he was Wi-Fi. The, he was swatting the radio waves away. This is the guy who has all the great ideas. Also, this is our first episode. I'm monitoring my audio. Also, what... Oh, Jared, this is the first time I saw it. This is very funny. Then Chevin started doing it. I might have done it a couple of times, too, afterwards, because it did make a little bit of sense. And I, they'll do things, and then I'll go, that's crazy. And then I think about it, and I go, mm, that might not be that crazy. I'm that's kind of a good idea. I know something. In Santa Monica, our glory days, and we're a bunch of lunatics living in an apartment together, Jared, we got, Jared got a really good water filter for the shower from Whole Foods. So that you shower in chlorine-free water no, and it's good for your body or wherever you got it from. Seth and Jared split this water filter because we're both super, super cheap guys. No, I was both using it. So but then Jared it. would go into the bathroom and take his jug that he drank out of, like a water no, water bottle. He would cook. He would take it out for the day too. No, it was mostly cooking. But I saw him once take his water bottle. Because he was probably all he needed some water. Well, whatever. He takes his water bottle and he goes into the shower, turns on the shower. For that, because it's the cleanest drinking that's water in the idea. house. I mean, that's a good and idea. It just seems weird to think about drinking. It's like if you're in the shower, t- you wash it up, and you're just it's all coming from the same bowl. I've never in my life swallowed shower water. It's like seeing the shower, you're washing and yeah, but we would and use showering it like, and drinking. Most of the time, we use it for like for spaghetti or for like maybe oatmeal. Because if you use tap water for oatmeal, it's not filtered at all. But if you use the shower, it water, just you looks so out some of the strange. And stuff. Seeing shower water being consumed. You have to remove. <laughs> I know. Modern conventions. A pipe's a pipe. It's brain, coming from the same ground. I know. You want to succeed. But it's just when you're not used to that sight of. Yeah. Like it's, I imagine a guy in the shower lathering up, and he's got a, a, a glass mug, cup. And just I mean, I laughed the first time drinking. too, but then I quickly, as the intelligent person I am, and then, I caught on, and I was like, "That's a really good idea." And I was laughing at both of them, calling them both lunatics. And I'm drinking the poison water in the kitchen. Then I started drinking it. And I stopped drinking that water when I was the smartest one in the house. And I went and bought a water cooler, office style, the blue, the blue jug that you refilled. Oh, yeah, you didn't bought the water. And then I bought the water jug, cooler. And he didn't buy the water. And he didn't buy the water. I bought the $100 water, tr- water cooler, and you guys and get the water. And I felt guilty because I'm like, oh, Nathan spent $100 on this thing. But then I thought to myself, in a little while, I will have paid that you've, much money. You've, much, you've point, surpassed I greatly. I probably spent... I probably spent five hundred dollars on water over the past five years. I probably spent a hundred dollars a year on water. Do you want to come over here, Frank? For anyone who's just listening to this, whatever this is, this podcast, there's a Frankenstein dog coming to rest upon my lap. He's gonna sit directly on the microphone. Weird dog. Hi, Frank. Where's the microphone? Don't let him run in there. It's right here. Are you sure yours is a good spot? Oh, my, it's up here. I'm loud. I think it's a Frankie is sniffing it. I think it's in a good spot. Uh, um, Burp number two. <laughs> what was I just supposed to say to you? So, anyways, I've learned so, some good things from Jared and Seth, which Why is did you start talking about drink Jared? out of the shower water. What were we talking about before you brought Jared up? You said I did, I, we were talking about something I was doing. I don't know. I, my brain is so late, I can't think of anything. I was saying because I said something to George and Bob the other day yeah. that I realized was really weird. And I was like, and oh, before I should you mention started that. saying that, I was talking about something. Who knows? That's why we need good old Paul Cummings here because he keeps it on track and he remembers everything. Paul only remembers things from like hundreds of years ago. I have no idea what I was saying before that. You do have a new invention. No. Also, they were going to keep this. Oh, we should mention, let me take a break real quick and mention there's a new Patreon oh, yeah. for specifically this 
podcasts, video podcasts, whatever it is, that will mostly benefit Chefid. Chefid walks dogs for like 12 hours a day and makes, how much do you make out of a 10 hour dog walk? Like 10 hour dog walk. I work day. five days a week, but I, I work like seven hours he a day. He makes less than most people who get make below what, minimum it wage. It to be like $8 an hour, I think. $8 an hour. Last, in 2019. Last week I walked. And you're physically walking all day. I, dragging dogs, I picking up their poops. Last week and I made $200. $200. That's so depressing. Jeffid um, needs to get some money from Patreon. It's hopefully to supplement the rent. This will rent. help make things easier. If you like this, please support it. Give a dollar a month, five dollars a month. What are yeah, you doing? Yeah, but that afford? Patreon will be. It, Exclusively for this for podcast. this podcast, and most yeah. of it will go to. We're Seth. gonna do it once a week. We're gonna do a weekly thing. If you already donate to my Patreon and you like this show, feel free to lighten your donation to me and give the re- remainder to Seth, or stop donating to me and donate to my own brother if you like this. Oh, yeah. Because the, when the donations go up, we can keep doing this. And we have a nightmare recording this and setting it up, so it'll motivate <laughs> us to keep doing it. And if you're dog walking, maybe you can listen to this when you're dogging. And I'm listening to something oh, else yeah. I'm dogging. Frankie's bridging the gap. How is this comfortable for him? I don't know. He always does super uncomfortable things. Oh, Frank. The um, funky guy. Gosh, Frank just had seven teeth saying. removed. Have you had any teeth removed recently? <laughs> no, thank God. You've never bleached your teeth? No. I looked at your teeth there, day and it was weird to me how clean they were. <laughs> They're so bright. How do you get them so white? They That's not flossing. They've been white. Why? Mine are not that white. And I wash my teeth. Your teeth are pretty white, though. They're yellowy. I don't, know. I don't even drink coffee. Yours are coffee like white. glowing white. Um, and you've never had them whitened. I Katie, Malia, and Phoebe, two people that you go to, two girls, women, or whatever they are, <laughs> in neutral, my movie, I've never seen whiter teeth than those two people. It was. It made me like keep my I was like, oh, I should keep my mouth closed because oh I do God. not have teeth that white. It uh, blew me away. Girls have such white teeth. Uh, Maybe it's DNA. I'm, I, f- I wish or I could remember hygiene. what I was going to say. It doesn't really matter anymore at this point. How many times uh, also, have you... Wait, here's a question. This is a 30-minute podcast for anybody wonder. I guess you saw that when you picked Yeah, 30-minute 30 30 podcast once a week. Trying to, hour seems a little too long. I like sticking to 30 minutes. If you guys are liking it, we want longer, we can push it to longer. I got a question for you. Um, we can just quiz each other. My, my own brother's qu- quizzes. You wet your bed once doing the oh, job. Oh, that's what we're talking about. My update is, I had that jug for a month, a couple months. I think you loud on that microphone. A couple months, and uh, I don't think so. I recycled the bottle today. I'm getting a new one because I started to think, when I put my private parts in this <laughs> bottle, is it going to feed bacteria back into my... And it was like a, ga- it was like a my, gallon jug? It was a half a gallon. But I was wondering, because it's, I mean, it was just random. And where do you dump this urine? But I was wondering. Tell them where you I'm dump it. I'm putting my manhood in there mm-hmm. if it's putting bacteria on my ween. Why? I'm wondering. Don't you the, wash it? The jug? Yeah. I oh, so you're getting old urine residue I, well, on your Well, all that wiener? bacteria that built, I mean, it's, it reeks. It absolutely reeks. Oh, well, no kidding. If you use it when more than once, it's going to reek. like this. Oh my God! You keep it next to your bed <laughs> at night. No, I go. Did you have that in when there? I'm using it. Shepard's girlfriend Helen, who stays over here every few months when she comes to visits from London, did you have that jug near the bed when she stay over? And did you ever use the jug when she was in the bed? I know I used it, but I don't remember where I put it. I think I put it. Yeah, no. Do you sleep I on the outside the, of the bed? I kept it near the bureau. No, she sleeps on the outside. I remember seeing her falling asleep at six p.m. Mm-hmm. in the no, bed. I would get it. I would. Just crawl over and go get the You're drug. already out of the bed. Why don't you keep because walking four more feet to the bathroom? Sit like this on the edge of the bed than it is to get But then you got to the get bathroom. that funky, rotten, stinky all also, stuff over you. It's like cold in the rest of the house. You don't want to leave the room. The room is warmer. It just is, I don't have to explain the, <laughs> the fine night details of why people like to stay in their bed when they're sleeping. Do, do you ever have to wake up in the middle of the night and have to poop? And do you poop in a bucket? I don't if you have, do. I, I very, a very few times in my life I've woken up to take a dump. Have you ever pooped in your bed? I wouldn't poop in a bucket. I'd poop in a box. <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, you can't go... Oh, you mean like a, a bucket bucket? Yeah, like go oh, for I a bucket. I think like a jug. No, you poop into a water gallon jug? Oh, I gotta go get that record outside I left it in the yard. 
What? In that box. I oh, I saw that, that box. Because um, I've never... I was going to say, I was trying to think back this way, how, no? how it gets to... I wrote it was back and he gets annoyed by it. He doesn't like to be touched. No, it's because I give him the chiropractic adjustment pet. I pet him and I mm. do that thing where I adjust his back and he gets annoyed by it. He starts groaning. He, he, wants, good for he wants to sit on this classy blanket. He does. I know he does. He doesn't like how hard this is. Uh, you can give him that towel he threw up on. As I say, not only does my own brother do gross things, but his own brother, me, does gross things. He's putting Did on I ever throw. tell this story when I was, how I pooped on the floor a couple times on accident? And how I, I think you might have pooped in my story. pants? I've heard the story. I must told have told that, that yeah. And but luckily, the last time I did it, it was on that square of carpet that was just a leftover piece of, so weird. of carpet that we used. I don't even like to think about we that. Used that as, so why did disgusting. we use that thing as a piece of carpet in front of the washing machine? I put machine? that there because... It was a piece of carpet that was like... It was like a trimming from 15 the carpet feet by there. like 8 feet, uh, inches. 15 I, inches by 8 inches. It was I just a weird rectangle. We would kneel down in front of the washer because that was tile. We had a tile, there. square of tile... Right before the bathroom where our washing machine was. It was a section of tile. It was a section of tile. As you walk from the hallway into the bathroom, you'd pass by the washing machine. And Seth put this random piece of carpet there. And one time, I was throwing my clothes I was wearing. I was like, oh, I'll just wash these clothes. I was getting in the shower. I took them off, put them in the washer with a bunch of other stuff. And as I'm squatting at the washer, I had a fart. And I farted. And I looked down. There's a whole poop on the floor on that carpet. It wasn't a whole Poop. It was it like was this piece. big. Yeah, it wasn't like a long But it was walk. bigger than, a, it was like a Cadbury egg it size. Was disgusting. It was, I hated it. it. <laughs> so then I just picked the carpet up and threw it all, the whole thing this in the dumpster. When I do stuff like that, I do it in private. I, no, I was home. I was home. Oh, maybe. Jared you didn't stop peeking on me Jared when I'm pooping. Was home. Why are you peeking on me no, when I'm you pooping? You said, oh my God, I just pooped on the floor. <laughs> I, think you took, I took off my underwear and that poop fell out of it or something. Right? I was naked. I remember I was naked because I was throwing my Because you were taking your clothes off in front of the washer. Yeah, and then as I was squatting and putting it all in, I, I farted and poop came out. That means a lot to me. I think you took off your underwear and the poop fell out of the no, underwear. No, that, that was probably when I was sick. I pooped in my underwear when I was sick. I was chewing on his foot. I always poop. Myself. Um, so I think it's very common and people don't admit to it. This is my show. This is well, I talk about poop. This is not this is supposed to be show. a show that emulates. We're supposed to be taking the pressure off of you. Show. This is taking the pressure off. I of know, you. but it's supposed to be a late night talk show, so we're supposed to talk about all kinds of interesting things, not <laughs> poop all the time. Uh, I, I read, I read the comments on all of these things, and people are very intrigued by the bizarreness, weirdness I have of this house. It looks like he is missing teeth. Um, he probably has a hard time chewing. He's on his missing feet now. eleven teeth now, total. I have something interesting. Anybody out there ever heard of Mel's Hole? This is pretty interesting. How much time do we have left? Because this would take up a whole half an hour. I won't talk about it at all. This is really intriguing. Jeff had told me this story, and I was like, at first, I was like, I don't really care. I'm busy. I'm editing. And I was, as he started telling me, I got more and more interested, and then I had to start googling and investigating this. This is really cool. We have nine minutes. Tell it in nine minutes. This is really interesting. I suggest all of you go look this up. We were talking about going, trying to find this hole. Well, some people may already know about this. But anyway, I'll just give you a bridge version. So this guy has this, like, hole in his yard in in Washington State. And over years, I think he said, like, 40 or 50 years, people have been throwing trash in the hole. And, like, local people who lived in his town. And... He started to think, like, why isn't the hole ever filling up? Like, where is all this stuff going? Why, isn't it, why don't I ever see any of it? And he'd shine a flashlight down there, and he'd look down there and try to see if he could see the bottom. He never could. So they took, like, fishing line, because he had been a fisherman of some sort, and he knew about fishing. And he took, like, a fishing line, 1,500 feet spool, 1,500 foot spool, and he lowered it down with a weight on it, and it didn't hit the ground. Like, he never felt it bottom out. So it was at least 1,500 feet deep. And also, it had like a brick or ornamental like. Brick it looked like a border. big well, like a nine. It looked foot like a well, diameter like a nine well. foot diameter hole. So he couldn't find the bottom of this hole, and then he he put down more and more rope, and finally put down like forty five hundred feet of fishing line, and he never touched the bottom. And then, um, he what was the next thing that happened? So he there was a the lifesavers. Well, he did the lifesavers to see if there was water down there. He attached the lifesavers to the fishing line, thinking if there was water down there, the lifesavers would dissolve in the water. He dropped them down, pulled it all the way back up, 
and they were still there. They were still attacked. They so they dry. didn't touch any th- water or anything. So there was nothing, and then also the line didn't get tangled in anything. You know, all that trash. And people have been dumping trash. Yeah. Cars. Apparently, some guy dropped his do- dead dog down there. And apparently, the guy then a couple weeks later saw a dog that looked just like his with the same collar on. With another tag, person. With another hunter. A guy hunter in the, the woods. woods. The dog was with someone else. Yeah, he was like, like that's that, my dog. That part I don't know about. But the other stuff is all like just legit. And so it's this bottomless pit in Montana. No, Washington. Washington. I always think Listen, Montana. I am. It's near so, Washington. Anyway, he leaves his property because there was a huge snowstorm and some of like the, the structures were like collapsing from like the weight of the snow, the roofs, because they were like old. And it was like a trailer kind of. Mm. place you know it's kind of, i don't know if it's kind of like a mess but anyway he left and then finally after a couple of days when the snowstorm stopped he came back and when he came back he had done he had talked to the radio show or something that was the thing coast to coast he had done like coast to coast interview with art bell oh, that's there's, right there's yeah, something yeah. here where like he left after he did his broadcast and he told some people about it and it generates some some awareness. Mm-hmm. He came back to his property after that snowstorm, and there were people there, like in men in black, kind of. Men like, in but they suits. were like he said they kind of looked like military personnel. He couldn't really be sure exactly like what agency they were from, but they said, "Oh, uh, you can't go over here. We there were uh, there's been a plane crash." And so he's like, oh, I live here. This is my property. I have to get on the property. And they're like, oh, well, we have to check out the plane crash before we can let anybody on. And like he said he like looked around. And he didn't see any smoke. There was no like smell of anything burning. There was no evidence of a crash at all. And so like he's, he kept Complete insi- lie. He kept insisting. And then he's like, well, I own this property. It's his private property. You have to let me on my property. And they're like, okay, okay. Well, we'll let you get your personal things. Then you have to leave. And so he went... He got some of his stuff, but I don't know how. I don't remember if he saw the people on the property. Anyway, it's not important. He got some of his things, and they told him, like, we need you. We need. We want to lease your property from you because it's private property, and they couldn't be on it without his permission. Mm-hmm. So he agreed to lease his property to them for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month. That's insane. A quarter. What year was this? It was not. It was like 2000... Oh, really? Oh, 97. 97. Yeah, that's right. It was the 90s. Late 90s. $250,000 a month then is a little bit more than that now. It was $3 million a year, I think is what it was. $3 million a year. And so... Something's up with this hole. the uh, money, and he let them stay there. He said, like, regular as rain, rain, the the money kept coming into his account that they set up for him. The money was always there. He went to Australia... And another thing was he took his dogs with him and he didn't have to put them in quarantine or anything like because normally they have to go through a process. They just like wrote it all through and they just let them Every time he go to the airport, they just could get through the every agent, time, no like problem. The agency, whoever those people were, like this all They happened. cleared his name. These are powerful government people apparently who just cleared his name. I don't know what guy. they are. They made his life very easy but because then, that he gave them his hole. So Art Bell's like, well, what happened to all the money? And he said, well, you know, between like, you know, fine dining and like, he, he, and this organization that he had set up for, I can't remember what that And this was also, for. people who think, you know, Coast to Coast is a lot of crazy people who call in. This isn't like crazy. This guy was being honest and real. It's all over yeah. the news. It's a pretty famous thing. Like, people are now like, the news was reporting on it. Like, this but guy this wasn't way, This weird government agency came to us probably to pay him all this money for him to leave. And then he tried to come back and they wouldn't let him back. And then, so when he comes back to America, He's getting on the bus, and they're like, oh, hey. And they meet up with him, and they say, like, oh, we need to ask you some questions about the land. And so I'll be like, well, he's like, I can't miss this bus. This, this is my ride home. And they're like, no, no, we'll give you a ride in our car. You can just come with us. So he gets in the car with them, and he says the next thing he remembers, he woke up in an alley in San Francisco, like next to some guy who was drunk, and he was missing his teeth. Like um, his molars were gone. Not his friend. That's his, crazy. His molars. And he like, is he alive still? And it was twelve days later. Wow! It had been twelve days since he they freaking went abducted out with... him and messed with him. He was missing his teeth. Why did they take his teeth? I don't know. So they can't give there was fingerprints gone too. Like why would you take your teeth? That's for identification, isn't it? I don't know. It was so weird. And then he he doesn't go back to property. And then he tried to go get his money, and the money had been frozen. He couldn't get the money anymore. What did he do wrong? What made him mad? What did he, what did I don't, he do differently? I don't remember. I don't know. He just wasn't cooperating. And then also... 
They were giving him the, the, the ride of his life, and he then lost, all of a sudden took he, his oh, teeth. Oh, and he lost control of the property because in his divorce with his wife, he had changed stuff on the land that voided, like, the the deed or something. I don't know. So the, the state reclaimed the land, or that or that company said so, who, who was paying him. Whoa. I don't know. He lost This the guy's land. life went from being weird to awesome to horrible. And then... I mean, the next parts of the story are insane. Like, it just gets crazier and crazier. We'll save that for the next time. Why? What? You can't do have, that! We don't have time to talk about it. You didn't it tell me the, anything else. Because it gets, like, insane. Are you can't do that to me! Yeah, we only have two minutes. So. Wow. Dang, Jeffid. <laughs> well, anyway. if you want to hear the next part and you like this, please donate to the Patreon. Please keep uh, supporting this show. Um, we did like how many seasons? We call it an episode, a season. We did like ten or oh, so. Oh, my own brother. Of my own brother. And now this is my own brother's. <laughs> it's the follow up to my own brother. Because which will be a weekly Paul's thing. Paul's not around. Uh, Paul's not weekly. around. It's easier for just the two of us. To stay. We live together, so we're just gonna keep doing it ourselves. It's gonna be obviously it's a different pace. We're not yelling at each other. Paul <laughs> gets more angry. <laughs> well, because when it's the three of us, we all get worked up, whether we're recording or not. If we're at a restaurant, we all just start yelling loudly because yeah. the three of us together get crazy. So this is a little more calm, subdued version, talking about the weird things that happen in whatever inventions. Do you have an invention you want to mention? No, I can't remember. It's something yeah. they, a pair of shoes I invented. I can't remember. What they <laughs> a pair are. of shoes I invented. I can't remember what they do. Do you know how many inventions you have now? We've well, had one every episode at least. That's about you have about ten inventions. That's I'll, pretty good for I'll someone. I'll try to remember what it was for next. Most people don't have one invention. Granted, all yours kind of stink. No, but still, don't. ten all things you are um, incredible. Mm, all those inventions, debatable. If, um, here's a question that I would genuinely like to hear because then we could talk about this in the next episode. Please say in the comments, I read them all, you know I do, what of Shepard's inventions is your favorite? Mm-hmm. And then we can talk about that next time we're on the show. So you can say if you have an update to that invention. And also let us know if you want us to do live call-in segments. Oh yeah, we're talking about doing live call-in segments. So we'll but that have won't to, be every episode. That'll only that'll be, be a like... special thing. Also, that could be a special thing for people who donate on Patreon. You can be calling in and we can tell you the time to call when we're going to record yeah. the episode. Uh, we can talk to you through Patreon. Give you the private hotline. So if you donate like 20 bucks or something insane like that, then you can call in and talk live on the show. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. So, Look at the Patreon. So donate to the Patreon and if you like this show. My own it's brother's. probably just my own brother's Patreon. Yeah. Um, we don't know yet because it's being loaded as we're doing this. Yeah. So, Well, thank you for watching. I guess stay tuned for part two of that yeah, insane that's story. Nice. Yeah, well, that too. But then... And this podcast is just supposed to be just talking. It's just talking. <laughs> We're just talking about random stuff. Jeffrey might want might start his own radio show too or something. Weren't you talking about doing well, your own talk show? Serve as that. Maybe I this just could want be to it. Do like late night kind of conversations and stuff and just see what people have. To, it doesn't have to be conspiracy stuff or like. We should get a stuff. different guest. Well, Frankie's technically our first guest. It could be about anything. He's got so nothing to say. We have like an arcane expert. Oh yeah, we could have different guests on. Instead of just Paul, the special been. guest can be a different, actual different person. Yeah, well, that helps facilitate the conversation as well. well anyways, well, that's, that's the first episode. episode. <laughs> My own brothers. My own brothers with two brothers. Thanks maybe, for watching. Maybe not, he'll be here. Maybe Frank. Frank will probably be here the next time. Okay. Th- All right. Bye. bye.